I think patients with cerebrovascular disease have a lot of reasons to be hopeful. We've made tremendous advances. Arterial venous malformation is an abnormal connection between an artery of the brain and a vein of the brain. And so this high pressure is going directly into the venous system, and that's what usually results in symptoms. The first time it may show up is because the patient um, had a hemorrhage which caused them to have a deficit in their neurological condition, like weakness or a problem talking. They can also cause seizures. If an adult or if any individual has a new onset seizure, that patient should be quickly evaluated to be sure that there isn't a structural cause for that seizure. Imaging has advanced tremendously uh, for AVMs over the last several decades. Our radiologists, for example, are extremely experienced with looking for subtle signs of an AVM uh, on a scan that may not be obvious on a superficial review. We can start to make very intelligent and smart decisions about what we should do with that patient to prevent a catastrophic hemorrhage down the road. It might be surgery, it might be endovascular treatment, it might be radiosurgery, it might be a combination of those three. The thing that we offer here at Mayo Clinic is the individual evaluation of the patient and their symptoms. Everyone is different. Everyone has their own journey, their own unique experience, and so not one treatment fits all. Thank you.